This is the most bossy little boy I have ever seen others read books but he ate them directly. He found the book tasty and crunchy with one bite his urine can even corrode the toilet. He can easily overturn a car with his hands this boy is called Pell at just 12 years old. He is still very short. Pell has almost no presence in the class. Like an invisible person even in the group photo of the class he was also blocked by his classmates because of his small stature. He has left only a small mark on a school life that he will continue to remember. Pell was afraid of becoming ordinary and uninteresting. He was afraid of becoming nothing but a tiny ant in a nest. Pell also has a secret that no one knows that is. The youthful and naive young man has a crush on Amanda, the most popular girl in his class. Youthful love is always the purest. This love is not mixed with the reality and cruelty of adulthood. Amanda brushes her long blonde hair and gracefully walks to the camera. Even the photographer was moved by her face and took several pictures of her in quick succession. Pell looked at the beautiful Amanda and was frozen. He just hoped that Amanda would notice him. Pell was always alone after class. Suddenly, he heard a noise downstairs. He slowly walks over to find a little boy with glasses being bullied by the seniors. They took out the superhero comics he had in his bag and threw them at him. Then they taunted the boy. As the invisible man, Pell saw this scene and thought about his current situation. Why can't he be a hero, for once to help the boy escape from the clutches of it? So Pell grabbed the apple in his hand and threw it at Alan. He immediately hid his body close to the rooftop at this time, the teacher appeared from the window and told Pell to leave the place Alan saw him in this way. Pell turned around and ran away, but the two men behind him were in hot pursuit. Pell took advantage of the turn to hide in the garden of a house this is Mrs. Mary's house. She died a long time ago, but someone could always hear the sound of metal running through the hallway in the middle of the night. So the house became a haunted house. Children in the neighborhood were never afraid to go near the house. The little fatties left too, and an ant got into Pell's pants, and it crawled down the shirt and up Pell's neck. The ant took a bite. A strong feeling of dizziness swept through Pell's head. Everything around him became dizzy. Then he couldn't control his body, and fell backwards. By the time he opened his eyes again, it was completely dark. Pell dragged his heavy body back home, but his consciousness didn't seem to return. After greeting his mother, he went to his room, and fell straight into bed. Pell woke up the next day to find the remains of spilled candy all around his bed. This shows how hungry Pell was in the middle of the night, when he didn't eat dinner. He stuffed almost all the candy in the house into his stomach when Pell came to the bathroom. He saw himself in the mirror with chocolate sauce all over his mouth. But he had no memory of eating candy at all. Pell went to the table and picked up the juice. Before he could force the glass was crushed by him. But the strange thing doesn't stop there. He was able to pull the whole board down by holding the door handle with his hand. The students next to him were stunned to see this. He thought Pell was a hero with superpowers. So he kept his eyes on Pell during gym class. He didn't miss a single detail about him. That's when the gym teacher taught everyone a tactic to use, and let them use this way to build their steel-willed selves. The tactic is simple. It is to fall and get up until you admit defeat. The teacher wanted someone to help him with a demonstration. All the kids raised their hands except Pell, so the teacher asked Pell to step forward. Pell was still resistant at this point. What the teacher didn't know was that Pell had evolved. He was no longer a bully boy. The teacher who wanted to show his power in front of the students would have a failure. I've never seen such a teacher before. He kept swinging his stick at the boy he was still gloating and very proud of himself. The more students were knocked down the happier he was. Pell sat on the ground and looked at Amanda. It was as if he got a boost of energy to get up. So he picked up the weapon on the ground and started to fight back. He gripped the stick tightly with both hands. He looked at the teacher with determination in his eyes. Pell bent down and dodged the teacher's attack. The teacher looked at him incredulously. He swung his training stick down at Pell with force. Pell caught the blow but the teacher was enraged. He couldn't believe that he was no match for a child. So he swung his stick at Pell in anger. Pell was ready to fight back against this teacher. He stabbed the teacher in the stomach with the end of the stick and sends him 10 meters away. But Pell is intimidated by his own power. He threw down the stick and fled the gym on his way home. Pell was stopped by his classmates and was asked if he was a superhero. He wanted to know how Pell could do it. He then gave the superhero comic book in his hand to Pell who was silent. Pell went home and looked at the comic book in his hand. He thought of the girl he had a crush on in his head. The next day, he walked right up to Wilhelm and said that he was bitten by an ant and became like this, and so the two non-existent boys form a small team. Wilhelm took Pell home to make Superman work better and inquired about the ants. They discovered that ants have hard jaws and an incredible bite. When Wilhelm saw this, he got up and grabbed a book 
and handed it to Pell. He wanted Pell to test things out to see if it was as the documentary said. Then Pell bit right through the book with a single bite. The two boys got excited and started to explore the secrets of Pell's body. They created cool costumes based on the characteristics of ants. Superman must have an eye-catching costume. You can't wear your underwear outside. The two of them made many costumes. They went through a lot of trouble and finally created a battle suit. And they named Pell Ant Boy. Everything is ready finally. They could start saving the world that they went to the supermarket parking lot and hoped to punish the bad guys here. But how could the bad guys be everywhere? Pell was tired of waiting. He also asked Wilhelm to buy candy to replenish his strength, but then a robber was really waiting for Pell. Then Pell changed into combat clothes and rushed over to the robber. But the other side only saw him as a kid playing a hero. The robber approached Pell step by step and forced Pell to the wall. But the robbers were shocked by the scene that happened before their eyes Pell flew into the wall. This gave Pell a boost of confidence. He was no longer a boy to be bullied. So he jumped right on top of the robber and handed him over to the police. Pell showed Wilhelm who came back how he could climb the wall. But this time he couldn't get up there no matter what. Wilhelm looks at the candy in his hand. He learns that ants must rely on sugar for energy. So he added a refill device to his costume. For Pell Antboy soon became nationally famous for punishing evil and preaching good deeds. Antboy was featured in every major newspaper. Beauty always loves a hero. Amanda fell in love with Antboy and cut and pasted all his news into a collection. Just then, a fat man in an eye patch appeared outside the window. When Nicolene heard her sister screaming, she went to Amanda's room and found that Amanda had disappeared. To get Amanda back, Nicolene used a prop to disguise that someone was stuck in the window. Soon after, Ant Boy showed up. Nicolene looks at the boy in front of her and asks him to get her sister out. It was Pell's dream to be a hero and help others, not to mention that Amanda was the girl he liked. So Pell uses his keen sense of smell with the necklace Amanda left behind. He soon found the place where Amanda was being held. But this is also the place where Pell gained her powers. An eerie feeling came over Pell. The boy just got bitten by an ant and fainted. When he woke up, he had a super sensitive sense of smell. He was able to chew a six centimeters thick book with a single bite. Now he's going to be a superhero that the world will look up to. Pell enters the room and finds that everything here is covered with plastic from top to bottom. There was a lot of greenery and Amanda was locked up in this glass room. Pell rushes over to the room, but he couldn't find any way to open the glass door. Just then Pell saw a noise in the woods. A fat man who looked like a flea fell from the sky. He scared Pell right back into the glass room. Now the only person who can save Amanda is locked up too. The flea man tells Pell because Amanda's father forced him to stop his research project that was to use animals to extract new antibodies to treat life-threatening diseases. As a result, Flea Man's mother died without the opportunity to continue the drug experiment. So the Flea Man's revenge plan began to form the ant was just one of his experiments. Pell was just lucky to get this power. Everyone knows and admires Ant Boy, not Pell. If it wasn't for that ant, Pell would still be a marginalized person and wouldn't have any friends at all. Flea Boy said Pell would never be able to beat him. Pell is destined to be a loser who is shrouded in the name of a hero. Flea Man leaves after that. Amanda waited for the police to come to her rescue. After Pell heard Flea Man's words, he wanted to be a brave and caring man. But now the dream is over, and Pell is back to square one. Now he is just Pell. After that, Pell became even more silent and didn't want to talk to anyone. But on that day during class, a loud noise erupted in the campus. The students were scared and ran away. It was the flea man carrying out his revenge plan. Pell fled through the crowd. Wilhelm stops him and wants him to stand up for the safety of everyone. But Pell refuses because he thinks the police can protect them. Wilhelm picks up Ant Boy's hood and puts it on his head. At this moment, he is also a hero who is taking responsibility, but without the ability to fight, he was choked by the flea man and threatened to kill him. Pell escaped but was still worried about his friend. So he went back to the classroom to find him. The flea man grabbed Wilhelm and threatened Pell and told him to get to the woods in 10 minutes. Otherwise, Wilhelm will lose his breath. Pell pedaled frantically to get his friend back. He reached his destination within the time limit and found Wilhelm tied to a tree. But it's hard to win with just the two of them. So they decided to make a feint to the east and attacking in the west and have Pell attract the flea man's attention. Wilhelm will attack from behind. He pulls out the blood tube that keeps the flea man alive. So Pell and the flea man launch the final blow with $1 special effects. Flea man is knocked straight into a tree. The blood tube at his neck also fell out due to the powerful impact. 
the broken blood supply and circulation system left Flea Man completely defenseless. Pell also regained himself, have you ever wanted to be a hero to people? Ampoy had superpowers and a huge following. Although Pell is still a small town boy, but it doesn't matter. Heroes are in our hearts, aren't they?